Hello out there on the internet. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices, here to bring a tutorial on how to install Android on your Web OS HP touchpad. As you can see here, I have a standard HP touchpad. Uh, it's running Web OS 3.0.2, uh, nothing special yet and uh, my friend Kermit here is going to hold on to it uh, basically I am going to follow the instructions that have been provided by our generous friends at the uh, touch droid project um, I'm not going to get into that so let's just go ahead and get right into this um, I'm going to plug in my USB cord to my device here And I am not going to select to put it into USB drive. I'm going to leave it as it is. Now, from here, I'm going to go to my computer and follow the steps. All right, kids, let's just dig right into it. I'm sure most of you have already seen this link here. Uh, these are the instructions that I'm going to follow uh, for convenience and ease of uh, following these instructions. I've printed them out and so I will not be flipping back and forth as that is horribly annoying. So first of all, I want to show you in my device manager, uh, by the way, I'm running Windows uh, 7 Home Premium Edition 64-bit, and uh, I just wanted to show you that the Palm Novacom drivers are loaded in my device manager, indicating that the device is uh, connected in the correct way. So that's uh, a little way to know whether or not it's connected or not. All right, so from here, um, I just want to point out a few more things here. If you don't already have the Palm SDK installed and uh, you haven't uh, gone through all that process, like it says here in the instructions, please stop watching this. This will do you no good. Um, you'll also notice that I have open on my screen here uh, a the actual SDK bin folder. Uh, I, I could have set up paths. I just was being lazy and decided not to. Uh, and I have my Nova term and whatnot easy to get to. I also have a DOS box open also to the bin directory. So when I have to do the Novacom uh, commands, I don't have to go hunting around for the executable. All right. So let's get this thing started here. First thing that we need to do is uh, open up Novaterm. And uh, this, very similar to the command prompt, hit connect. And we have this here. So now I will type in, as per, uh, this is actually uh, step three that we're in. Uh, so it's to uh, resize uh, all of this. So I will be typing this in here. Okay, so I have uh, resized all of my media and uh, created all I needed to create. So the next step is to uh, format that these bad boys, and I'm going to do that now. Okay, so it looks like step three here is done. So now it's just a matter of going to step four uh, to uh, 
be able to mount the system partition. So I will follow these instructions now. Okay, so that seems to be all we do there. And uh, now off to step five. And uh, so it looks like I need to go to my command prompt. Yeah, let's try this again. So now we need to do step five, which is to actually put the file uh, into the system directory. Uh, now I placed the downloaded files into uh, the, the actual image files into my C drive for convenience of uh, location. Uh, I guess you could have put them also into the bin directory along with uh, where the commands will be run from, but I didn't think to do that. Okay, so now that that's done, we move to the next step. So I'll minimize this and go back to my Nova term. Maximize that here. So we CD There we go. Okay. All right. I'm on step seven now. All right, now time to boot into booty. All right, groovy. So now, go back to my command prompt and type this in. Novacom boot
Well, would you look at that? Well, looks like I got Android running. Let's see what we've got here. Looks like we're moving around a bit here. Okay. Looking good. Going to the menu. Looks like we've got some stuff here. All right, there we go. Android 2.3.5 installed, ready to rock. So from here, obviously there's no back button and whatnot, and uh, there's some things missing, and that's all well and good. I'm gonna hit the, yeah, it doesn't do anything. All right, well, um, it's working, and uh, this was my first time going through this process. The instructions seem pretty easy to follow. Uh, hopefully the video is helpful to those of you who want to go in and play with this, and uh, hopefully this will all become moot because uh, <laughs> the uh, CM touchpad team, uh, CyanogenMod, uh, they'll get it out there and uh, we'll be ready to rock. So again, this is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices, and this has been putting Android on your touchpad.